What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another wrestling discussion video. I've got something a little bit different here where I am going to be presenting to you guys three different concepts for NXT takeovers that we could have in the future. Now it's no secret that NXT takeovers are something that every wrestling fan looks forward to. We almost always have a match of the year candidate and just top to bottom it seems like there's always just so many amazing moments, matches, and everything like that. They seem to always pull up the stops at takeovers and really put on a great show for the fans and I just really can't wait to see what the first one is like once all this quarantine stuff is over and we can have fans in arenas again and everything starts to go back to normal because boy oh boy am I craving that right now. But regardless, today I wanted to go over three pitches for future NXT TakeOver concepts that I came up with. Obviously in NXT we've seen things like War Games come back, we've had specials like Worlds Collide where it was NXT versus NXT UK, the Dusty Cup, so many just different concepts that have been featured on NXT TakeOvers. But without further ado, here are my three pitches for future NXT TakeOvers. First of all, I know this is probably the weakest of the three, but it's definitely one that fans have been asking for for a long time. And this is one similar to Worlds Collide, but with the main roster. Now I know we had Survivor Series where NXT was featured, and you know, that was kind of cool and whatnot, but it wasn't as good as I feel like it could have been, is if we had one booked by Triple H down at an NXT TakeOver, where we have a few main roster guys come down and uh, wrestle for NXT for the night and put on just some banger matches. Just imagine some of the possibilities we'd have here. What if we could see matches like Johnny Gargano versus Daniel Bryan. Seth Rollins and his little stable there versus the Undisputed Era. Walter versus Samoa Joe. Io Shirai versus Sasha Banks. NXT Finn Balor versus AJ Styles. Tommaso Ciampa versus Randy Orton. Velveteen Dream versus The Fiend Bray Wyatt. You can literally pick so many amazing matches. Those are just to name a few examples. You could come up with whatever you want. Give us a proper NXT TakeOver booked by Triple H with main roster guys versus NXT guys and girls, of course. We've got to have some women's matches because NXT has got the strongest women's division in the world. You could even get really gutsy and do things like Riddle and Lesnar, which I guess would be pretty unlikely. But there are just overall so many possibilities if you had an NXT versus main roster, Worlds Collide, or they'd have to call it something different, I guess. But it is definitely something that I would be interested in seeing. Now moving on to my next two pitches, and these two are the ones that I think really should happen over the other one. I see them being a little bit more likely as well, though maybe not my last one. But the second one here I have is NXT TakeOver Elimination Chamber. Now in my opinion, this should have happened in the past. You guys remember a couple years ago when we had the show Halftime Heat during the Super Bowl when we saw Adam Cole team up with DIY to take on Velveteen Dream, Ricochet, and Aleister Black. I think those six guys should have had an Elimination Chamber match and it would have been just absolutely nuts. The six top guys in NXT at the time just tearing the house down. But you could literally do it now with the guys who are in NXT. Just pick six of your favorite NXT superstars, throw them into an Elimination Chamber, have them do a Women's Chamber, it worked so well with War Games, I don't see how this wouldn't be a success. Let's have Adam Cole, Tommaso Ciampa, Johnny Gargano, Finn Balor, Keith Lee, and Matt Riddle, or Pete Dunne or someone. Throw them all in the Elimination Chamber, it would be insane, tell me you wouldn't want to see that. Over on the women's side, we could do like Bianca Belair and Io Shirai, Rhea Ripley, Candice LeRae. Again, there's just such a deep talent pool in both the men and women's divisions. We could easily fill two elimination chamber matches. You could even do a tag team one if you wanted to do three, but that might be overkill. But you could easily fill up two elimination chamber matches and have an NXT TakeOver Elimination Chamber. If you didn't want to put the titles on the line, you could do them as number one contenders matches. There are just so many options that I know the guys down in NXT would absolutely kill it if given the chance to compete inside of the steel structure. Now going down to my number one and my personal favorite, the NXT Tournament of Champions. Is this one going to happen? Probably not. But overall there have been 16 different men to hold the NXT Championship. Sadly 15 of which are signed with the company still to this day. One is gone, and that of course is the Bastard Pack who is now in AEW. And of course was Adrian Neville back in NXT. So sadly we're gonna have to wait until we crown another champion, but we could literally take all the former champions and put them into a tournament, maybe over two or three nights, or maybe it would have to be over a few weeks and then end at a takeover. But an NXT tournament of champions where we have all the former NXT champions go at it and see who the best of all time really was. Now in case you need a refresher, I will run over everyone who would be included in this tournament. First NXT champion ever, Seth Rollins. Big E Langston. Bo Dallas. 
Of course, this would be where Adrian Neville was. I guess we're just gonna have to wait until the next champion is crowned so we can have that person come into the tournament instead of Neville. So we'd have to wait for uh, 17th ever, ever NXT champion to be crowned. So I guess this takeover would have to wait, but I think it would be amazing if they could do something like this. Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, Finn Balor, the two-time champions in Samoa Joe and Shinsuke Nakamura, Bobby Roode, Drew McIntyre, Andrade Cien Almas, Alistair Black, Tommaso Ciampa, Johnny Gargano, and of course, current champion Adam Cole. Now, if you just look at the overall depth of talent there, seeing some of these guys go at it in the tournament would be insane. Not to mention whoever the next NXT champion is, whether it be like Velveteen Dream or Keith Lee or whomever is going to be the man to dethrone Adam Cole. The talent pool would be insane. The matches that we get to see. Imagine Seth Rollins versus Tommaso Ciampa. Kevin Owens versus Johnny Gargano. Bo Dallas versus literally everyone in the tournament. The possibilities are just endless to create an amazing tournament that would lead down to an amazing final. Maybe it's the current champion versus the first ever champion, Seth Rollins. Maybe it comes down to DIY one more time. But overall, the possibilities really are endless if WWE was to pull off an event like this. I know for a fact I would like to see it. I'm pretty sure I saw this going around on Twitter like a few months ago. Maybe I'm wrong. So if this idea was already thrown out, I don't want to completely take credit for it. But regardless, I think an NXT tournament of champions would be amazing. So those are my three NXT TakeOver pitches. Let me know if you have any pitches down in the comments below and what you thought of mine. Like the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and I will see you all very soon with a new video. Thank you.